most of us are built from the bottom. It's an unpleasant place, a place where most unpleasant experiences in life begin. The bottom is a place where we get assaulted with all sorts of unpleasant emotions, depression, fear, doubt, insecurities, hopelessness, frustrations, and disappointments. The bottom makes you face yourself heartlessly, excruciatingly, and honestly. The bottom makes you face your problems and your losses in life. The bottom will reveal all of your mess, all of your dysfunctional behaviors, the things that went unchecked, the things that went unnoticed. The bottom makes you question all of the things that you thought to be true. You question your motives, their motives, your beliefs, your fears, why you did things, why you didn't do things, why you were attached to certain people in certain circumstances, why you succeeded and why you failed. And you are forced to examine all of this fabric in raw detail. You plummet in despair, sadness, anxiety, loneliness, and grief, and you're going through this up and down, and it's very exhausting. And the people that you thought were in your corner, they didn't show up. The bottom is where you got to trust yourself. The bottom is when the universe doesn't back you up. The bottom, sisters and brothers, are where you will find anger, resentment, unresolved disagreements. But let me tell you what is really at the bottom that will flip your wig. Your pride. Because pride is concerned about with is concerned with who is right, and humility is concerned with what is right. Come on, somebody. See, it's at the bottom of life where we begin, and not the top. But most of us avoid our own experiences. We don't want to think about that, and we don't want to feel this, and that is avoidance at its best. See, you have only intensified your suffering and sustained your hardship because if you weren't at the bottom, you would have never known that your problem and your losses stifled your progress and happiness and then releasing an avalanche of negative emotions. See, we think the bottom is so steep, but not when there is an up. So this morning, this Saturday morning, I speak life into you. You're coming out with a fresh perspective. You're coming out stronger from the ground up. You are at the point to build again. You are coming out with a renewed sense of clarity. I wish I had somebody this morning that would testify. You are coming out healed and delivered because persistence and resilience have a relationship together. They both were birthed from the bottom. It has to be built from inside of the pit, from inside of the cave. It's not in an innate trait that we have. The bottom is where you get nourished. The bottom is where you surrender. The bottom is where you can't escape the pain, but release the pain. At the bottom is where you embrace this discomfort, embrace that pain, because in order for God to heal it, you got to feel it. See, God wants to nurture that true spirit. That true man needs to be raised up. If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. If you lack courage, you will go limp. See, God is about to breathe a new spirit inside of you. Whatever the challenge was, that whatever it took from you, God is about to give it back to you. Mm. God is going to put back it's going to put it back into your health. God is going to put it back into your vision. God is going to put it back into your passion. God is going to bring the right people into your life. Whatever was unfair in your childhood, whatever was unfair in your marriage, whatever was unfair on your job, whatever was unfair in your health, he's going to make up for it. Good God Almighty. See, nobody is going to know how you fought that battle with the sickness, with the stresses, but God is going to give you double for your trouble. You're going to come out stronger. Come on, somebody. I feel it. 
I feel it. Because if you believe in the word of God, somebody ought to open up your mouth right here and give God some praise. Give God some worship this Saturday morning. I need somebody to just tap in this morning. Understand that the bottom is just like a springboard. God will raise you up to the surface, away from the darkness and back into his light. See, the bottom wakes you up. See, the bottom, there's a gift in the bottom. We just got to go through it and we got to aim higher. I just want somebody this morning just to listen to my voice this morning because sisters and brothers, you're going to come out stronger, but you have to let go of what got you. See, you coming out stronger because the struggle increased your strength. When God restores you, there will be no sign. <laughs> there will be no sign of betrayal. There will be no sign of difficulty. There will be no sign of injustice. No sign of a bad break. No sign of addiction. No sign of depression. They will never know how you came out of that dysfunctional environment. See, the bottom doesn't stop stop your purpose. The bottom doesn't stop your dreams. The bottom doesn't stop anything that God has for you. See, the bottom makes you pull down every stronghold. The bottom makes you go ahead and break all of the bondages. The bottom makes you break that slave mentality. When you come out, you will come out into freedom. When you come out, you're going to be, you're not going to come out beat up. You're not going to come out dragged out. You're coming out with an advantage. You're coming coming out vindicated. You're coming out promoted. You're coming out with favor. You're coming out with the fullness of your destiny. But I'm going to tell you what, this morning, you're coming out stronger. God bless you.